Welcome back to Superior Sunrise. Joining me now from the DOS Heritage Center is Miss Lorraine Crutcher. Lorraine, thank you so much for being here. Um, I don't think we've had the pleasure of having you guys on um, Sunrise before, so tell me what is the DOS Heritage Center here in Weatherford? Well, first I have to tell you I'm so excited to be here. The DOS Heritage and Culture Center is a Texas and Parker County History Museum, and we are so blessed that we are there to celebrate history and culture of Parker County, but mainly our objective is to collect, preserve, and also interpret that history. So we do that through cultural events and all kinds of cool stuff at the museum. So tell me, uh, new visitors are coming to the museum. What can they expect on their visit there? Well, the best part is the museum is completely free, and that's because of all the generous partners we have, community sponsors, folks that really, truly believe in what we're doing. So free museum, and then now our brand newly opened up Pioneer Heritage Park, which is comprised of local log cabins that we've restored and saved from any new developments, and it's a very exciting thing. Very cool. Well, I'm not from the area, but I have had the pleasure of interviewing quite a few businesses, I feel like, mm -hmm. in the area. And one thing I noticed about Parker County is every business gives back to the community. It seems like everybody is so generous. How does this um, museum give back to the, the local community? Well, we are blessed that we get to be stewards of a lot of that generosity. And by having that stewardship, we're able to serve over 10,000 children annually. And that's through our free hands-on history programs and things that we do, um, summer camps, um, spring break programs. We're a free resource to a lot of Parker County families mm -hmm. and also families that come through visiting grandma and grandpa or just traveling so the fact that it's free or very low cost to them is a huge blessing and we love seeing them celebrate the history yeah well tell me since there's I'm sure there are so many kids who are just enamored coming through there what are some of the things you hear the kids say that you that have been very rewarding to hear them when they're visiting the museum honestly just watching the connection mm -hmm. and seeing how all of the sudden their eyes open up to what we're doing or maybe what grandma and grandpa have talked about yeah. what they've heard about through history lessons at school but really getting it to watch it click is the coolest part and we always say we're planting seeds of gratitude and that's mm -hmm. where happiness grows from mm -hmm. and watching the kids come through the cabins grind their own coffee, mm -hmm. make their own butter, dip their own candles, you see that happiness because they're getting to do things with their hands. They're getting a digital detox, so to speak. Yeah. And that's the best part of it is just connecting those dots and also bridging the gap through generations. Well, and I think that that is imperative now more than ever. Yes. Real quick before we go, what are some upcoming events that we can take advantage of? Right we have Pioneer Heritage Festival coming up and it's a great way for the family to come out. It's a completely free festival. Um, make your own butter, dip mm -hmm. your own candles, like I said, visit all of the authentic log cabins. They were all built here in the mid to late 1800s. So you get to walk through, take a look at them. You'll probably see me as a pioneer lady. Uh -huh. So if you come through, holler at me and say, hey, pioneer Lolo. <laughs> but it's fantastic. We also have Spirit of the West art show during that event as well. Oh, very exciting. Well, that I'm, I might have to plan my stays here a little bit and make yes. sure I can come by. It sounds really wonderful. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, it was um, a delight. Thank you. This morning. Don't go anywhere. We've got more Superior Sunrise up next.